So the door is in and we are now going knocker shopping. Uh, we're going to a little gem of a place called Wells Reclamation Centre and it's just an emporium of all goody uh, sort of old antiques and old uh, retro furniture and landscaping stuff. So we're going to head down there and they sell some new door furniture as well. So we're going to have a look and see if we can find a knocker and possibly a number. Flying pig. Go on, go and catch up with mummy. Did you find them? Where are they? Can you see any door knockers? Um. You need to find a door knob for the cupboard. Uh -huh. So back from a successful trip, um, we got a number for the door and that's probably going to go on the stonework beside the door on an oak plaque. I'll just make up a small plaque for it to go on. Um, so that's good and a couple of little brass screws to go with that. The main star of the show was that we wanted was the knocker and uh, it's the one that the door company sold was about hundred pounds I think. This one was 30 and this one's solid brass as well so hopefully it's going to age a little bit. It's not lacquered like some of the modern ones. So I've unpackaged it and uh, it's looking great and this will weather down a bit like the one in the shop. It will kind of lose the real shine, look a bit more uh, period feature style and uh, the little threaded rods um, that come with it they haven't got a uh, they're not a bolt as such because they've just got a nut each end and um, they are not long enough to go through that beefy door uh, the the door is I think something like 60 mil thick and uh, this will obviously only just clear a 45 mil wooden door so uh, all I need to do is just get a bolt tomorrow and then I can cut the uh, cut the head off it and use that so I'll pop it away for now and that'll be tomorrow's job. The closest I can find is a 6mm bolt and it's still not quite matching up. It's matching up enough for it to bite into the, the nut but it won't go all the way on. So if I cut it to the right length it should just about work. Must get myself a little metal working vice because I can't really do it in this woodworking vice very well without damaging it. Let's try sandwiching it in here. Don't know if it's going to hold it tight enough or not. So I doubt the camera will be able to pick it up but they are pretty much the same width. It's just the the kind of spacing of the threads which is different. This one may be an older imperial size or something. Anyway, I've done my best to uh, find something to fit and that's holding tight. It's going on about two or three turns, two or three threads. I've done a bit of a mock-up of the knocker here and I'll show you that now. So here's my quick mock-up of the door. This is a couple of timbers uh, put together to make up a 65mm thickness, which is what the door is. That's allowed me to kind of fit it up this side and see how long that bolt needed to be cut uh, so that this kind of brass nut would go on on the inside of the door. Right, so I'm going to take this apart and then we'll look at measuring up the door. There's no fixed height for these things to go. Um, 
but I've been looking and traditionally I think they're about a third of the way down the top panel because we've got a four panel door. This mock-up was to check the, uh, the size of the hole needed for these two pegs. Basically there's kind of two studs on the back of the plate here which stop it from turning. So I wanted to make sure I got a really nice fit. They turn out to be seven mil holes. Fortunately, nice sharp drill bit, there wasn't any tear out the other side and it's just, you know, maybe a millimetre off centre, so that should be absolutely fine. While it was all going far too smoothly, our top hole came through nice and square, bang in the middle. Our next one down was on the right path, but then when I kind of readjusted the drill bit, went back in, come off centre and it's quite obvious, you know, when you're looking at it like that. I haven't got any brass washers but I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do. So I will re-drill that hole there so we end up with a double hole and then just make sure that the washers cover that one. So all I'm going to do, like I'm fitting a tap on a sink, I'm just going to put like a little donut around there because this is a really airtight, really nicely sealed door and the last thing I want to do is leave, you know, holes in the new door. And just those two six more holes, I can hear more road noise coming through than we could before. So I want to make sure that they're all sealed as much as possible. A little squidge around that middle hole as well. Make it in place now. So that's the finish without a washer, just a nice, nice neat sort of brass stud there. Uh, obviously, when I get hold of some brass washers, I'll probably switch them out so they match. Now we're onto this nightmare. Oh, it's just so annoying. Once you've done it right once, you know exactly, you know, you can do dozens of these doors now and get it spot on every time, drilling from each side perfectly in the centre. But when you've only got one front door, there's not room, much room for practising. 